this is Doug Varnberg. Welcome back to another Tips and Tricks. And today I'm going to try to show you some of the reasons I love 360 imaging for my style of fishing. I love shallow water fishing and I'm going to try to show you here that today why 360 is so critical for a shallow water angler, even deep water anglers, uh, but most importantly shallow water anglers. Are you fishing underneath the boat? No. Are you going to fish away from the boat? Are you casting away from the boat? Most shallow water anglers are. And that's why I'm going to show you where 360 imaging is the ultimate sonar to throw away, to cast away from the edge of the boat and make you a better angler. Let's uh, fire it up here this morning. Just hit confirm. We're going to unstrap it. Let's put 360 in action. Once you deploy it, you'll need to come to your sonar tab. Go up here to sonar tab and turn pinging on. And you'll see. Once you fire up 360, you want to come to your sonar menu. I'm going to use the uh, joystick over here. Uh, one thing, I like to joint the 360 speed about two. My range, I want to get down in castable distance. The smaller you have the range, the larger the detail. 50 foot is going to be a pretty long cast for uh, shallow water. The other thing that I like to do is come down here to display mode. With shallow water, I'm probably only going to be focusing on the front, so I'm going to come down here, focus my efforts to the front, and uh, that way I'm not worried about the data behind it. It's going to give me 90 degrees. It's going to be straight right and left with the trolling motor. This is going to all be behind the behind the trolling motor. So I'm typically you're going to be casting in front of the boat, out to the sides. Uh, that gives me plenty of area to do that. Just hit exit. And we're going to start here. You can see we're picking up a couple fish over here. Pretty much factory defaults as far as uh, sensitivity, contrast control. Look at that log next to that stump there. Would you have seen that in 2D sonar? No. Look at that. See that log laying right there next to that stump? And we got two more stumps in front of us. Look at all those stumps in front of that. That's why we use 360 imaging. Because it's powerful. I just hit that tree row. That tree row extends on up here, straight in front of us. See if he can catch us a bass off of it this morning, Mr. Big Mouth. Well, we caught the stump. If we'd extend that way out, it would be tough for us to see. The stumps would be a lot smaller, fish behind it, that type of stuff. There's one dead straight ahead of us, and that's the one I think I'm hung up on. It's actually a double tree. You can see the main one to the right, the other one to the left. Look at that bank ahead of us. Three foot of water looking 150 foot in every direction. Actually what we've come up on is a little road bed. You see how the road is? We're just going to turn down that road bed, see if there's anything on it today. Some of this stuff is a, is vertical, it is above water. I mean, it uh, it's it's seeable, but the thing is, is what is not seeable? Um, that's the critical part. Is every angler is going to come in and fish the visible stuff, but anglers with 360 are going to be able to fish the stuff that is not seen above the water.
not a lot of bait fish up here today. Bait fish would show up very well on here. Might pick us up a big old worm and flip it in some of these trees and stuff. But look at oh wow! Anybody guess what that's starting on the straight on the left? That's a big old lay down. Look at that tree. I'm fishing a tree right to the left, but there is a huge tree right here in between it. I'm going to towel them down. I'm going to refresh. Just watch that thing. Look at that lay down. So watch and see if anything changes from refresh to refresh. If it changes and we're tiling down, there's only one thing it can be, can be, and that's fish. Look down there at the bottom. That changed just a little bit. We had a few little fishies down there at the bottom. We got a log straight in front of us on top of the road. We're watching this in four foot of water. Not 40, 4. 2D, 20, 200 kilohertz sonar, 20 degree cone, we'd be looking at a third of depth. You're going to look at about a foot and a third, about 18 inches of total water color coverage. Is that going to be useful for you? Basically, if that's, if that's all you're using, <laughs> you might as well use the cheapest Piranha Max unit because you're that's all you need because you're just looking below you but with 360 we were looking away from it. I know that tree is just up in front of me a big log If the fish are hidden in that log, I'm not going to see them on 360, but it tells me that could be a good place for a home for Mr. Largemouth. If you like shallow water fishing, 360 is what you have to have on your boat. I mean, if not, you're fishing in the dark. Oh, what do we got coming up there front and left? We got another one. But I think another log it almost looks like. That. Look at the branch right here. Look at this bead branch behind this tree. There was a fish over there on the right because it refreshed and it's gone now. Look, oh, look at this. What do we got right there? Got another big old log. And it's not visible above water. There's a nice tree there. See how it refreshed when we start getting more and more data? I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to point this. What, we, what we're going over after I get done fishing here. I want to catch one bad today. There's that tree. Just tie them down. A lot of stuff to fish here. You would come in here, you would have seen about four or five trees, and that's all you would have fished. You may not even stop. We got something up there at the top is starting. Look at about 330 degrees. What I'm looking for is changes, changes from every time it refreshes. Look at that log up there. Let's slide in there just a little bit closer to it. Look at the size of that log. 
It's right there in front of us. Right in front to the right, just a hair. We slipped a little bit to the wrong direction. Look at all those branches. 2.9 foot of water. This is going to amaze you, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. This is what's directly in front of us here. And this is what we just came past. There's our trees. Now if we look, I'm going to point it out here. Right in here in these trees, and right here, is what we're seeing on the screen. This is a big log out in front of us. This tree right here, that tree right there, is right over here. It's, if you look right behind the boat, here's the front of the boat, it's going to be right here. Now isn't that cool? Isn't that something that would help you catch more fish? 360 imaging, bow mount 360, shallow water fishing, 2.9 foot of water, 2D sonar, 2D sonar, 200 kilohertz, 20 degree sonar is a third of depth three foot that's one foot circle 60 degree is equal to depth that's three foot circle my foot right there is a foot that's all the coverage you would get with 200 kilohertz 2d sonar that ain't going to help you catch any fish it's going to tell you how deep it is and that's it down imaging's about one and a half times the depth is max so we're looking at four and a half foot that's still not getting outside the boat. I mean, you got to go, to, you got to split it in half, and that's right and left. So you got two and an eighth foot to each side. We're looking 50 foot here, 50 foot here. We're covered 100 foot here, and we're covering another 100 foot that way. Look at that tree. That is the power. of 360 imaging. Look at that. Isn't that the world's most powerful sonar? Hands free, foot free, the unit's doing the work. It's about 360, the hummingbird is doing all the work for you. You're not having to do anything. This is fish catching radar. It's going to show you the structure underneath the water, stuff that you'd never find before. Check it out and get a hummingbird on your unit on your boat today and start putting more fish in the boat. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks and tune in next time as I go more in depth about the details of my product sponsors to help you get the most out of your investment. Thank you.